Hello, one of my hobbies is building projects using Nixie tubes. So Nixie tubes are an old technology of the uh, 1960s era. Uh, they're a display tube used usually to display numbers, for example these uh, IN14 tubes in the clock there. Uh, they also make uh, linear tubes for displaying bar graphs. So they're a gas filled tube, they emit a nice uh, neon glow. I'll turn out the, the light so you can see better. So there's a good view in the dark showing all of these various kits. Uh, each one of these is a kit that I bought off of eBay at a different time and assembled them. They were all uh, kits that you had to build yourself, although some of them you can uh, order them pre-built. Uh, starting from this side here, this is a uh, thermometer kit from a seller called Mr. Nixie. Uh, what's nice about this is it is a uh, it's an IN13 uh, bar graph display, so this is not a discrete display made up of a bunch of lights like uh, like an LED bar graph or something. This is actually a continuous filament in here that will uh, grow from uh, from bottom to top depending on the temperature. And it is this is an analog kit. It uses an analog sensor, so it's continuous. There's there's nothing digital about it. Um, it does use for this uh, backlighting in it that is changing the colors on the plexiglass, or, or uh, not plexiglass, sorry, acrylic, has a couple of color change LEDs that's a little bit of modern technology mixed with the old. And it is powered by a uh, USB port, which is kind of nice because you can easily just plug this in and plug it into one of the spare USB ports on your computer. So an IN13 uh, bar graph temperature is kind of nice. Um, it's not the easiest thing to read because depending on the angle you're looking at it, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll look like it's higher or lower than it really is, but it's, it's, it, it's, it's a neat project. And it's, uh, it's a, really a work of art with this nice uh, case that was designed for it and this nice acrylic. It's, uh, there's like laser cut pieces, got a black base. It's pretty cool. Um, this over here is your traditional uh, Nixie tube clock. So it's an IN14 clock. Uh, I believe it was made by uh, TubeHobby.com. Now the parts that you'll actually get uh, do not include a case, so it was just the uh, the boards inside with the tubes. They also make an IN18 version, which is a bit bigger. The case I think came from uh, TrophyCases.com or something like that. It's a generic uh, acrylic case. Worked out pretty nice to keep people from getting their fingers in where the high voltages are at. And I've also added, way back here on the back, a little GPS unit from uh, Spark Fun Electronics. So the GPS, I had to run it through a uh, hex inverter to uh, invert the signals, and it goes into the uh, GPS port on the clock, and it makes sure that this clock is always synchronized to the correct time. So that's, that's kind of one of the first kits that everybody builds, is a clock kit, because they're very popular. There's lots of them on eBay. Um, over here we have an IN14 uh, thermometer. This one, I believe, was also designed by Mr. Nixie, although it was sold by a different seller on eBay called Nixie 2012. And uh, it appears to be very similar to one that I found in the uh, Elector Electronics magazine. Um, it's got two tubes. They're IN14 tubes. They are... Uh, I believe they are not multiplex. Yeah, they're not multiplex. So you can see they're kind of a little bit brighter than these ones that are multiplexed. And the uh, the temperature sensors out here on a little pigtail so that uh, so that it won't uh, if you have it too close to the board, it'd get hot. So right now I'm holding it in my fingers, so it's picking up my body temperature, raising the temperature of this uh, little icy a little bit. I let go to it. It'll uh, go back down a little. It's designed so that uh, one light uh, blinks as the temperature's going down, the other light blinks as the temperature's going up. As you can see, the uh, resolution on this particular sensor appears to be uh, 2 degrees Fahrenheit, more or less. Um, also does not come with a case. I'm going to see about uh, designing some, a case for it myself, just to keep people from uh, getting their fingers in it. It has, uh, it's lit up from the bottom with a couple of blue LEDs. That's what gives that kind of blue glow to the, uh, the bottom of the Nixie tubes. 
A lot of the uh, clock developers are uh, starting to do that. It's powered by your traditional uh, wall wart. And over here we have a Decatron spinner. Uh, this came from a seller, I believe it was Tortuga Scuba on uh, on eBay, and it is a a Decatron is a counting tube. So there are actually ten positions on the tube, and they were used in the old days before we had ICs. If you needed something to count to ten, you would use this uh, vacuum tube to do it. Now it's actually controlled by an IC, which is pulsing the guide pins at the appropriate rate to make it go around. A lot of your uh, Decatron spinner kits, a lot of your Decatron spinner kits will use uh, mains voltage. What's nice about this one is it's powered by you know a traditional wall ward, so it's not quite as dangerous as a kit that is uh, designed to use mains voltage. Um, it's actually you can control the speed on it. It's got a little potentiometer, so if I uh, Turn that, I can slow it down, I can speed it up, speed it up quite a bit. Um, all of these were fun kits to build, they generally took like about two hours to build each one of them. Uh, let me turn out the lights so you can see the effects on them a little bit. It's the uh, Decatron spinner. The IN14 uh, thermometer kit, the uh, Tube Hobby uh, Nixie clock, and the IN13 uh, bar graph thermometer kit. Here you can see a 10 digit uh, kit that I found on eBay. It's sold by a seller called uh, Sparkle Tube, who also has a website called Cosbo.com, that's K-O-S-B-O.com. Um, I believe he sells them in 8 and 10 digit versions, this is a 10 digit. I've added the, uh, the case, of course, and the switches and power supply and some other electronics inside. Uh, they're available both as a, uh, a fully completed clock and as a kit. What's unique about this is it's 10 digits and it can function not only as a clock but also as a generic counter and you can talk to the counter uh, via serial protocol and send a count to it. And I have integrated it with some other electronics that is fetching the, uh, the hit count from my website and updating the Nixie display with the number of hits that appear on the website. It is a pretty easy to build kit and it uh, looks pretty good and the the IN12s are perfect for a uh, for a shallow front facing uh, display like this